Okay, so uh, in this chapter, we are going to uh, talk about quadrilaterals, and this is a very famous diagram. Even though it doesn't look like a four-sided shape called a quadrilateral, it's uh, going to represent all the different types of quadrilaterals and how they're all related. So on the outer uh, ring here, or outer set, we're going to label that a quadrilateral. And that represents anything that's inside of that is going to be a quadrilateral. And then we have a different ring, or a different set, and we're going to call this one the parallelograms. So anything that's inside of here is going to be a parallelogram. So one would deduce if you are a parallelogram, then you're automatically a quadrilateral because you're inside of the quadrilateral world. Okay? We have another ring in here, and we've heard this one before. These are all the rectangles of the world. Okay? And so all rectangles are considered parallelograms, uh, but not all parallelograms are rectangles. Like, for example, this little space out here, that is inside of the parallelogram world, but not inside of the rectangular world. So it's not a rectangle. It has to be inside of the rectangular world in order to be considered a rectangle. So all rectangles are parallelograms. All rectangles are also quadrilaterals. So this other ring out here, uh, let's put this in uh, a different color blue. Uh, this is going to be all the rhombuses of the world, or what we call as our rhombi, plural of rhombus. And so anything that's residing in that shape is going to be a rhombus. So notice all the rhombus are inside of the parallelogram world. And so all rhombi are also parallelograms. Um, and all parallelograms are inside of quadrilaterals. And if you notice the way the rectangular rhombi are drawn, they're kind of overlapping. And that's because... And this particular set in here is a very, very special name for shapes, and we call that squares. And a square is actually the marriage of a rhombus and a rectangle. A square has 10 properties altogether, and all the properties are a marriage of the rhombus's properties, and the rectangle properties, and the parallelogram properties. So, all squares are rhombi, all squares are rectangles, all squares are also parallelograms, and all squares are obviously quadrilaterals. But the converses are not true. We can't say all rhombi are square and all rectangles are all rectangles are squares. So if you notice this little X right here, that's definitely a rectangle, but it's not a square. Okay? This little X over here, that is a rhombus, but it's not a square. It would have to be inside of this little area right here, and that mark would be considered a square, a rectangle, a rhombus, a parallelogram, and a quadrilateral. Now, there's two other shapes that we haven't mentioned that are also a part of this, and I'm going to click on the oval here and put one smaller oval over here, and uh, don't worry about small or big. I'm just be concerned with what where I'm actually putting it. Notice I'm not putting it. In, I'm not putting it in the quadrilateral world. I'm putting it outside of it, and we're going to call these trapezoids. And why would I put it outside of it? Because the properties of trapezoids have nothing to do with being a parallelogram. So we cannot deduce that all trapezoids are parallelograms. So they're kind of separate. Um, the characteristics and qualities and properties of the two are totally different, so we can't put the trapezoids inside the parallelogram world. And we have one more shape, too, that we're going to discuss. And that shape over here, I'll put that in green as well. Color doesn't really matter at this point. And all these are kites. You've heard of that before since you were a little kid. And kites are actually quadrilaterals, but notice they're not parallelograms because they're not in the parallel parallelogram, parallelogram world so um, that's our little introduction to all the different types of um, shapes we're going to have and overall this is called a venn diagram uh, describing how all the shapes are related to one another